Hi, I'm gonna show you my favorite childhood snack infused into some fresh pasta with some garlic, lime, and crushed red pepper. For this recipe, you need some flour, hot Cheetos, some eggs, some more eggs, and of course, a food processor of sorts. You're just gonna simply pour your hot Cheetos right in, and then go ahead and blend them for about 30 seconds to a minute until you get something that looks like this. Pour it out and get ready to incorporate it into your pasta. For this pasta, you're gonna use about two cups of flour and make a little well right in the middle for the egg. Sometimes you can even sift your flour to make it more fine, but I'm not gonna really do that. So I like to add a little black pepper, olive oil, and salt to my egg before I start mixing it and incorporating into the flour. So what I'm doing right here is just breaking up the middle part, mixing it all around. I figure maybe I'm gonna need some more eggs, and then I add another egg, and I'm just stirring around, taking some from the edges, mixing it all around, taking some edges, until it starts to form this like yellow, doughy paste kind of thing. And then I'm gonna incorporate some hot Cheetos. But I really like hot Cheetos, so let's throw some more hot Cheetos in there. Nice. But as I start to mix it, I realized it made it a lot more dry, so I added another egg. You don't actually have to use all the flour that's there, just get all of it into a nice lump. When you see you have a good amount like this, you can always add more flour. Flour is not the issue, you just want to have it a nice consistency that's very doughy and not too wet, but not too dry at the same time. So you want to knead it for about 10 minutes straight, then wrap it in saran wrap and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Now take it out from the saran wrap and then actually roll out your dough with the roller. Then after rolling it, if yours is a little wide like mine, you can actually cut it down the center to get it ready to go through the flattener. After taking it down to about a little bit thicker than a piece of paper, you can actually roll it through the fettuccine cutter like I am here, and it comes out so beautifully. It actually turned out a little bit more pink than red, but it's okay, it's still hot Cheeto infused pasta. Go ahead and get your pot of boiling water ready. As you're doing that, go ahead and get some garlic minced. I like to smash mine to make it easier to peel, and then just chop away until you got some finely minced garlic. Actually, I'm gonna add some cilantro for freshness. Be careful not to bruise this, and so be very gentle when chopping away. Nice. Now that your water is boiling, go ahead and grab your pasta and gently put it in the water. Be sure to season your water with salt, and if you'd like some olive oil, I just like it because I grew up with a lot of Italians and that's what they did. Also use something to stir your pasta so it does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Pressing firmly will check for doneness. If it breaks too easily, it's actually overcooked. Al dente is where you have to push a little bit harder than normal. Go ahead and add some garlic to some heated olive oil and then brown. Now add some crushed red pepper. Mix that mixture all around. This is actually gonna be the sauce we use for our hot Cheeto pasta. You're gonna add the pasta and gently incorporate the garlic, the crushed red pepper, and on the olive oil and all of that together and it's gonna become one. And then you're gonna add some cilantro for freshness. Then you're gonna mix that all up with your tongs again and get ready to serve. If you want it to look a little bit fancier than I did here, you could actually twist it into your tongs, making it a giant, beautiful pile on a plate. Grate some hot Cheetos onto the top to add a nice crispy texture for that extra crunch in the bite. This is often done in pasta by using buttered panko crumbs, but I'm just switching it up to use hot Cheetos. And then, Lime to finish it all up for that lime and hot Cheeto awesome combination. It was actually so good and to my surprise something I would probably actually eat. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to make hot Cheeto pasta. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I make video every single day, so subscribe. Peace!